This healthy living tip is brought to you by the Christ Hospital. Total hip replacement, we replace the ball and socket joint of the hip. So we remove the ball, we put a new socket in the pelvis, and then we replace the ball. So the joint now is totally artificial. The main cause is arthritis, and it could be any age, so it's not just geriatric patients. It's important to understand that this is the same prosthesis that we would put in through a conventional approach. It's just the approach is different. The major benefit is the maintaining the soft tissue envelope around the hip. This improves stability of the hip and makes the hip feel more normal. The anterior approach also has, is much less traumatic to the hip. So the recovery is much quicker and the functional outcome is much better than standard approaches. The special table we use allows us to position the leg in a fashion to give us access to the thigh bone. Normally, when we would do hip surgery, we would do it on a conventional table with the person laying on their side and an assistant would hold the leg in the right position. With this table, the person lays on their back and we can use the mechanical application of the table to put the leg where we want it in space. The benefits to the physicians and to the hospital and healthcare system is it shortens the length of stay and it allows the patients to get up and move around without any special restrictions, which helps the physical therapist. Um, and then ultimately it really helps the patients. We have a very aggressive pain management program here, which combines what we do with what the anesthesiologists do. And by being proactive in pain management, we actually decrease the amount of pain that patients have after their surgery. That adds tremendously to their recovery. And this approach, they, the amount of nausea and drowsiness is almost down to zero. Pretty much everyone can have their hip done um, through the anterior approach. With the One rare exception is if they've had a lot of hip surgery before and there's hardware in their hip that we have to take out and we can't get it out through an anterior approach. But I've converted and pretty much do 99% of my hip surgery through this approach now. It is faster because once you have the prosthesis in, there's less work you have to do sewing things back together, which you do have to do through a conventional approach and reattaching some muscles and tendons, which we don't have to do through this approach. There's no restriction. Some people are able to get out of bed the night of their surgery. Everyone gets up out of bed the day after their surgery. Our average length of stay has dropped from a conventional approach to from three to four days was our usual length of stay. Our average length of stay now is one and a half days. So we have some people who go home the day after their surgery. If they don't go home the day after, virtually everybody else goes home on the second day after their surgery. And the people who are the most amazed are the ones who have had another hip done through a conventional approach and then have this hip done through the front. And th they say it's like night and day, the difference between the two. We have a wonderful staff and we have a very dedicated staff. Um, the people who work with me in the operating room have all been there for five years or more. The people who work on our floor have all been here for a very long time. And that really helps us and it helps the patients because the continuity is very good and we're all on the same page. If you have hip arthritis and if your hip is interfering with your life significantly, that's when you start to think about surgery and then you would call us. To learn more about the anterior approach or about other orthopedic services, go online to thechristhospital.com.